My parents married in 1931, and a young couple went to live in Berlin. There were lots of love, lots of music, and very little money. I was born in 1932, and everyone was happy. But the year 1933 turned out to be a very bad one for Paul Hermann. Hitler's coming to power means that working conditions for Jewish people were threatened. The Hermans left Berlin and planned to enjoy the summer as usual in Sand in, in Auerbach. But then something awful happened. When swimming in the sea, Anna was caught in a riptide where the current is so powerful that it tears you down in the water. She was rescued but had inhaled water that developed into a pneumonia and a few months later she died in hospital. Paul Herman moved to Brussels and I as a baby stayed with my maternal grandparents when a younger sister of my mother took lovingly care of me. In the following years, my father was a frequent visitor and I still cherish the memories of unexpected surprise gifts, playing games and telling jokes. Around 1936, Paris promised better conditions for concerts and lessons and Paul Hermann moved again. In August 1939, he arrived in Arab on my seventh birthday, but I remember dimly the sudden leaving of all the relations from abroad when at the end of that month war broke out. When the Germans came in Paris, Bahama moved to non-occupied Toulouse. But later on, the Nazis were there too, and he was arrested in a razzia in the spring of 1944, sent on to French concentration camp Drancy, and the last we know is that he was on a transport in May 1944, which was passed on from Auschwitz to Lithuania. Almost never, no one returned. But where were his compositions? I told you about the duo for cello and violin. And I had also two short piano compositions, which were dedicated to the aunt who cared for me and her brother, both excellent pianists. When talking about my father, it was about his work as a performing cellist, and the composer was seldom mentioned. I knew that apart from those few pieces, there were some French poems for voice and piano, and there was a pile of handwritten music scores, which from the 1930s on had been taken along from my grandparents' house by my aunt when she moved, later on passed to me. Not being a musician myself, I had always put the pile somewhere in a cupboard taking care of it for sentimental reasons, but not knowing what to do with it. And here Eleonora comes in again. After hearing her on the radio, I contacted her. She invited me with the pile at her house in Amsterdam. And with all her outstanding advisors, she became a fairy godmother for the music of Paulhelm. I vividly remember the first time the violin and cello duo was performed in this same hall in January 2010. And after more than 70 years, my father seemed very near to me. And this was only the beginning. The piano pieces and the songs were programmed. And Eleonora discovered in the pile also a string trio dating from Paul's student days and probably never before performed before it was for the first time played by the Jacques Thibault string players in 2000.
and 14. And the effect of all this music is greatly enhanced because the companion program has always an interesting little article by Karina Alves. She wrote also a chapter on Paul Herman in the book Vervolgde Componisten in Nederland, Persecuted Composers in the Netherlands, and has an amazing talent for discovering relevant information in libraries and special collections. The Jacques Thibault Ensemble, who have performed the string pieces several times, have become friends but the dedication and invention of the two central ladies of the Leo, Leo Smith Foundation moves mountains. But I also wish to mention the extraordinary cooperation which they have developed with my son Paul, who has taken on, taken on the keeping and promoting of his grandfather's legacy put all his works on the internet, made in entrances on Wikipedia, and is forever exploring digitalized sources and discovering works which we didn't know existed. The highlight will be a performance of a reconstituted cello concert together with musicians from the Colbert Recover Recovered Voices program from Los Angeles, California next year. This ongoing search for works which are really worthwhile to be performed and mean so much for the descendants of the composers, music as a remembrance is something for which I am very, very grateful to the Leo Smith Foundation. Thank you. Thank you for your, for your beautiful speech, Corey. Very happy to hear it. And um, yeah, we have a, a surprise for you because I thought everybody here would very much now like to hear some music by Paul Herman. And Corey, this is unexpected, but I think these pieces are written for you when you were seven or eight years old because on the score it says for Koya and Lush. And Koya, that's you, right? Yes. Thank you. Yes, Corey, that's me, and Lucia, that's my aunt. <laughs> 